Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am back with another very interesting SQL problem. This was asked in one of the Amazon interview and very, very cool problem. So let's discuss the problem and what I will do in the description box, I will put create table and insert table statement. So try it yourself before checking out the solution. So let's understand the problem and then you can go ahead and try yourself. So here's the problem. We have this purchase history table, okay which has history, all the purchase history of a user. So user ID, product ID and purchase date on what date a product was, was purchased, right? So we have these records, okay? And this is the output one and four. So what is the ask? The ask is, write a SQL query to find users who purchase different products on different dates, which means products purchased on any given day are not repeated on any other day, right? So if a user has, has purchased a product, okay he should not purchase same product on any other day those kind of users we want those kind of customers we want in the output so for example user id 1 right if you see he bought product id 1 and 2 on 23rd and on 25th 3 right so it means there is no there are no repeating products right on on the different dates right similarly for user 2 if you see user 2 he bought product 1 and 2, right, on 23 and 2 and 4 on 25, right, which means he again purchased 2 on 25th, right, he purchased on 23, again on 25th. So this guy is not there in the output, right, so 2 is not there in our output. For 3, if you see, there is only one date, right, so we should have at least, the customer should purchase, have purchased at least for 2 days to identify that he has not purchased any repeating product. So again, this guy is not there in the output, user ID 3, right? User ID 4, he has bought on two different dates, different products. So there are no repeating products again, right? So basically, we need, we need to identify two conditions. We need to validate two conditions against each user. First, he should have purchased at least for more than one day, right? At least two days, he should have purchased history. Second, there should not be any repeating product, right? So if we satisfy these two conditions, we will get user ID one and four. Okay. Now this is the time. Go to the description box, take the script and try it yourself. I will proceed with my solution. Okay. So let's start. So what I will do, I will take user ID. Okay. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to identify which users have at least more than one purchase date, right? That is our first condition. So I will take count of distinct purchase date, right? Purchase date from for each user ID group by user ID, right? I will name it as number of dates right so if i run this okay if i run this what i will get i will get that for user id 1 there are two dates for user id 2 there are two dates for three days only one date so we have to filter this guy out we will see how to filter it out and again these are two dates okay so that is the first condition okay now move on to the table again So let me run these two queries together. Okay. So if you see for user ID one, we got two distinct dates, right? Which is fine so far, right? And this has only one date. So this we will filter out now. Okay. Now, second thing we have to do is, second thing we have to do is there should not be any repeating products for any user ID, right? Which means, which means that the count of, right? Which means that the count of products, right? count of product ID and count of distinct product ID should be same, isn't it? Count of product ID and count of distinct product ID should be same. If these two things are same, it means there are no repeating pro products, right? Let me run this and show you. So this will be count product and this will be count distinct product right so if i run this now 
again let me run both of this so if you see for user id 1 there are two distinct date which is fine 23 and 25 count of products is 3 right there are total of three products i am not doing distinct and distinct is also 3 why because there are no repeating products right if there is any repeating product the count of distinct product will be less so for example user id 2 if you look at this guy how many distinct date are there there are two distinct date 2 and 4 count of product is 4 so because he has bought four products over the period of two days so the count of product is 4 right on two days four products but distinct products is 3 why because he is buying some repeating products so when i do distinct i am getting only 3 which means if i put a condition that count of product equal to count of distinct product then it will give me all the users then it will give me all the users who have never repeated the product purchase right so i will put two conditions now one there should be at least two dates right so the number of dates should be greater than one so this guy will filter out second condition i will put that count of product should be equal to count of distinct product so this will filter out we will remain with this and this user 1 and 4 which is our output right now to achieve this there are couple of options we have to put this filter condition first is you can simply create the ct with cts this right and say select star from ct where where number of dates is greater than 1 right so this is our first condition with which the user id 3 will not be there in the output right let me run this let me run this quickly so you see user id 3 is gone 1 2 and 4 are there now 2 is also not required because count of product is not equal to count of distinct product so i can say and count of product not equal to sorry it should be equal to right we want who have never repeated and i will put this condition we will get the output our we will get user id 2 and 4 sorry 1 and 4 right user id 1 and 4 they have two number of distinct dates also count of product is equal to count of distinct products which is there is, which means there is no repeating product so this is we have got the answer but there is another way of doing it is instead of because all the filter is on aggregated value if you see number of dates is a aggregated value right again count of product is also aggregated value count of distinct product is also aggregated value so all the filters that we are applying is a aggregated value instead of doing in ct we can directly put this here in the having clause so i can say having having number of dates right count of number of dates is greater than 1 this is our first condition right and count of product id equal to count of distinct product id right so this i can put here so if the filter is on aggregated value we can just use it in having clause instead of doing it in uh, creating ct and then where clause right so if i run this again we will get user id 1 and 4 right so these are the two way you can solve this performance wise i think this will be better let me know what do you think because we are not creating any ct or subquery directly we are putting a having clause if in the in the output you just want user id you can just remove everything else it is not necessary you can just take user id and in your output you will have only user id 1 and 4 okay okay let me know if you have any other way of solving the question don't think about it is complex or less complex just put any other solution if you have in your mind put it in the comment box i will check it out would love to see your creativity how you can play with sql i know there are some more ways of solving this problem thanks for watching like this video and keep watching have a good day